Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm going to be starting a new project and that's going to be a power feed for the milling machine. But to do that, I'm going to first make a custom gearbox drive. I'll cover the gearbox itself in a future video, but the first thing I want to do is just start off by casting the casing. I'll start off by making the pattern from a piece of scrap hardwood. To machine the wood, I've opted to use this two flute end mill, which will help clear the chips a lot better than the four flute. With the wood cleaned up, I'll load up the part drawing and then I'll sketch it onto the blank. The overall dimensions aren't too critical because the part is going to be oversized because it is a casting, so doing it this way is pretty straightforward and pretty quick. I'll start off by drilling three holes in the wood. These will be used as reference holes later for when I glue some wood extrusions onto the part.
With the pocket done, I'll turn down some dowel. These will glue onto the pattern and they will form the bearing housing for the gear. With the pattern done, I'll make the green sand mould. I'm still working through the first green sand batch, and there are still issues with it for various reasons that I'm working through. So do forgive the less than stellar mould that it's going to end up producing. Now I'm sure that most of you could probably see that this was going to happen. Sound casting patterns do require the sides of the part to be tapered slightly to help the part be released from the mould and I simply forgot to add them. Now you can get tapered end mills to add a taper but I'm just going to use a Dremel tool to add the taper myself. And that turned out a lot better than the first time round. Of course my sculpting skills are pretty average, but this mould should work. Now for the casting, I've gone and bought some proper casting aluminium. This stuff should have a higher silicon content than the stuff I was using before, and it should be much better suited for being cast.
Well, for my first cast with this mold, it seemed to come out quite well. Of course, it will need a fair amount of machining to get it to its final dimension, but so far, I'm quite happy with it. However, I'm going to be doing all of that in a future video. And that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.